2016. Now we told you yesterday about the planned redevelopment of the old Gates rubber plant on South Broadway. And after that story aired, well, some of you called us to say you wouldn't live there because of contamination. So is it contaminated? Should people be concerned about living there? Denver 7's Lance Hernandez takes a 360 look tonight. One viewer likened the gate site to Rocky Flats and said he wouldn't walk his dog there. That's a bit of an exaggeration. We're not talking radioactive contamination. We're talking TCE, trichloroethylene, a cleaning solvent used in the manufacturing process. Should that TCE be of concern? Ryan Taylor says he'd live at a redeveloped gate site. I wouldn't think twice about it because of the contamination until I had significant reason to otherwise. On the other side, Craig Strobel lives in Golden, near the old Rocky Flats plant, so he's environmentally aware. Could be some concern, and I'm sure if they have the reports, that's something I would have to look at before I'd move in. So what's the reality? State workers discovered the TCE while drilling on the site for this flyover. We are told that the contaminated plume extended all the way to Wash Park at one point. Gates installed a robust remediation system, which basically uses molasses to biologically degrade the TCE. Since that system has been in operation, the plume has shrunk to where it is now just sitting on the north side of the old plant site. So what's next? There is no contamination within the soil at this point in time. There is an underlying groundwater uh, contamination that we are currently working with. Development project manager Lisa Duker ingle says there will be no construction on the land above that plume for another 10 to 12 years, giving them more time to finish the cleanup, bringing it back to the original concern. Would you live in these fancy new homes built on a site that might be contaminated? Some say given Denver's tough, expensive housing market, they're willing to risk it. It's not the fear of contamination, it's just the price. If the price was low enough, I'd live there. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7.